Hi, I'm Amanda Renee and I am a QC Makeup Academy graduate. I am also a student ambassador and today what I'm going to talk about is my essentially disability, how I became disabled and how I pulled through, overcame my situation and how I am now a certified professional makeup artist. If you're interested in that, keep watching and yeah. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, um, I am a multiple amputee, multiple limb amputee. So these, this is what I have with my hands, and then I'm also a double below the knee amputee. I wear prosthetics. I, you know, I don't use a wheelchair or anything, but it's still, you know, it's hard for me to stand for long periods of time or or walk for long periods of time. I've gotten a lot better but it's still a limitation that I have. What happened to me was I was 23, so this was almost exactly eight years ago, and I went septic. I, septic shock, basically, just where you have a really bad blood infection, it overwhelms your kidneys, your kidneys shut down, and then slowly the rest of, essentially, your body just starts to shut down with it. So that is the brief, like, shortened version of my story because I could spend the whole video talking about that but so that's what happened to me and I ended up my recovery time in the hospital was a month and a half so that was ICU for, like, from moment admitted to the surgeries to them letting me out of the hospital was a month and a half and from there I spent another uh, probably four and a half months recovering at home, learning, you know, healing, learning how to walk, all of that stuff. Before my amputations, I actually was, well, I still am, but I was a professional tattoo artist, full time. Um, it would have been my job for about six years at that point. And, you know, obviously, I didn't want to give that up. I was not willing to give that up, uh, even though I was told by multiple people, including doctors, that it was never in my cards that was going to happen again. But I just decided that I was going to make it happen. So I very quickly got back to that. And then I started picking up other like creative hobbies, a lot, like just challenging myself, doing things with my hands. Um, like metal work and jewelry making and things of that nature and my hobbies took too much time essentially it, I couldn't sit down for six hours because I had a newborn to take care of so I started dabbling in makeup just for fun I've always sort of been interested in it but never really taken the time to put much effort into it other than just some basic eyeliner or anything of that nature um, so I started dabbling in it and very quickly became obsessed with just the art of makeup application. I wanted to get better. I wanted to, you know, have my skin look essentially flawless without using filters, without essentially fooling people. So I've never really been a sort of copy and, and, and learn that way type person I just maybe start somewhere and then I just switch things up and change and so that was my sort of hobby learning and then I went to I was like I really want to like know how to do this like the right way so I did a lot of research and I came across QC Makeup Academy out of a lot of other options for makeup schools and I just QC seemed the most legit they seemed the most respectable, they had the best reviews. So I took their Master Makeup Artistry course and their Pro Makeup Workshop, graduated from both of those, and I'm currently still working through the Special Effects course as well as their updated version of the Master Makeup Artistry course. So upon taking those courses that I graduated from, everything, my just whole perception of makeup just sort of changed and you know what I was looking for that I couldn't 
find without training I found through QC and the courses that I've taken and the amazing feedback from the tutors that I was given along the way. And I, it's not like you take the course and then you don't see or hear from them again. If you want to be involved, you can absolutely be involved. There's groups, there's, um, there, it's just, it's, it's a family essentially. It seriously turned, like I would not be where I am in my makeup application without QC. And I know they teach you the absolute fundamentals of classic makeup application that you can literally use to do anything. As long as you know the basic fundamentals and theories, you can use that and take it to wherever you want to take it to. And that's what I've done and I, it's amazing. In contrast to all of that, you know, there is a sort of stigma that comes along with anybody who's not of the normal, like, able capacity, that people just assume that you're not going to be as good as somebody else. Or at least you think that. And I think that's more of a self-perception thing that you think people see you from the outside. And maybe there are some people that do. But coming from a person in the, in the field and an artist of other means and, you know, I, my main like my income is I'm a professional tattoo artist and out of the oh seven and a half years that I've been back at that without you know my fingers I've only had like two people ever really just sort of bring it up and be really weird about it and I just turned them away it wasn't a big deal but I feel like if People are going to perceive you how you have yourself perceived. If you are confident and you show your work and you show that you are fully capable of doing this despite, you know, whatever you have going on, I think that that in of itself will wipe away some of the sort of negative stigma that people have about you. Granted, you know, there are going to be some people, but just don't worry about it because it's their loss. And that's whatever situation you're in, whether it be physical or mental or just anything. If you are confident in your work and you portray that to people, then in my opinion, people will accept that and they won't even notice whatever else you have going on. I'm not too familiar with the, the professional like makeup world and about people with disabilities and, and whether it's harder for them to get jobs. I imagine that in a sense it is, but if you have references and you just build yourself and your portfolio up, I feel like it's not going to be that difficult. But again, this it, it may be I may be wrong in this, I'm not really sure. When I say, you know, people with disabilities, there are so many situations that you might have that are, a lot are visible, and there are so many countless ones that are invisible that people just don't think of, they don't see. So, and, and a lot of times I think that you just, you, you're aware of it as the person dealing with it, but the person outside of it is not aware of that. So if you need, you know, you, different accommodations or whatever, I feel like depending on the situation, you should absolutely mention that and everything. And most people I feel will be understanding, but it takes communication and almost just openness and, you know, sort of understanding between you and a client or you and your employer and just a situate making a situation work sometimes it's not going to work and you just have to let it go as far as QC taking the courses and feedback that I've gotten while taking the courses has really just built my confidence a ton and I don't worry about 
people and what they think and anything of that nature really and coming from my situation I feel like I I did this and if I mean if I can do this with a plethora of physical disabilities I have um, extreme anxiety and depression on top of all that and I can I have done I have two kids I have done all of this and it I am so just proud of myself and it's just a huge sense of accomplishment so as as far as the courses they don't take a lifetime to complete it's generally about 40 hours of actual work into the course materials is about when you, the amount of time it takes to finish a course and it's worth it it is 150 percent worth everything that you can get out of it honestly so I know this was a lot uh, to talk about so if you have any questions you can comment down below or you can visit the QC virtual classroom on Facebook you can also follow me on my Instagram page, which I post a lot of just specific like makeup looks and everything on there. Um, I'll also have that linked. And thank you so much for watching, and I hope to talk to you all next time. Thank you.